A carbodiamide or a methanediamine is a functional group consisting of the formula Rn equals C equals NR. Carbodiamides hydrolyze to form ureas, which makes them uncommon in nature. From the perspective of small molecule activation, carbodiamides are isoelectronic with carbon dioxide. The parent compound, methanediamine, Hn equals C equals NH, is a tautomer of cyanamide. Carbodiamide formation Carbodiamides are formed by dehydration of ureas or from thioreas. They are also formed by treating organic isocyanates with suitable catalysts, generally based on phosphine oxides. In this process, carbon dioxide evolves from the isocyanate. Uses of carbodiamides in synthetic organic chemistry, compounds containing the carbodiamide functionality are dehydration agents and are often used to activate carboxylic acids towards amide or ester formation. Additives, such as N-hydroxybenzotriazole or N-hydroxysucinamide, are often added to increase yields and decrease side reactions. Carbodiamides can also react with amines to form guanidines. Polycarbodiamides can also be used as crosslinkers for aqueous resins, such as polyurethane dispersions or acrylic dispersion. Here the polycarbodiamide reacts with carboxylic acids, which functional groups are often present in such aqueous resins, to form N-acyl urea. The result is that there have formed covalent bonds between the polymer chains, which have thus become crosslinked. Amide formation mechanism the formation of an amide using a carbodiamide is straightforward, but with several side reactions complicating the subject. The acid 1 will react with the carbodiamide to produce the key intermediate, the O acolosaurea 2, which can be viewed as a carboxylic ester with an activated leaving group. The O acolosaurea will react with amines to give the desired amide 3 and urea 4. The side reaction of the O acolosaurea 2 produce both desired and undesired products. The O acolosaurea 2 can react with an additional carboxylic acid 1 to give an acid anhydride 5, which can react further to give the desired amide 3. The main undesired reaction pathway involves the rearrangement of the O acolosaurea 2 to the stable N acolyuria 6. The use of solvents with low dielectric constants such as dichloromethane or chloroform can minimize this side reaction. DCC DCC acronym for N, in dicyclohexylcarbodiamide, was one of the first carbodiamides developed. It is widely used for amide and ester formation, especially for solid phase peptide synthesis. DCC has achieved popularity mainly because of its high-yielding amide coupling reactions and the fact that it is quite inexpensive. However, DCC does have some serious drawbacks, and its use is often avoided unless necessary, for several reasons. The byproduct N, in dicyclohexylurea is mostly removed by filtration, but trace amounts remain and are often difficult to remove. DCC is incompatible with traditional solid phase peptide synthesis. The formed N, in dicyclohexylurea is mostly insoluble and is difficult to separate from the peptide resin. DCC is a potent allergen, repeated contact with skin increases the probability of sensitization to the compound. Clinical reports of individuals who cannot enter rooms where peptide coupling agents are used have been reported. For alternative to DCC and coupling, see coupling reagents BOP, DCC at http colon slash slash www.biases.u-su.fr slash imig slash pdf slash coupling underscore reagents dot pdf. Dick. DIC, acronym for N, in diisopropylcarbodiamide, was developed as an alternative to DCC. DIC is identical to DCC in nearly every way except as a liquid. DIC is easier to handle than DCC, which is a waxy solid. The product, N, in diisopropylurea, is soluble in organic solvents and is easily removed by extraction. Hence, DIC is more often used in solid phase synthesis. DIC is far less likely than DCC to cause an allergic reaction. References